Hello and welcome to Arca at the Milwaukee Mile. Excited to give this one a, a go today because we don't get to go here very often. Milwaukee Mile, I think the uh, maybe the only other time I've raced here. Um, you know what, actually I think I've done a, uh, a truck race here and I think I've done an 87 race here. I think that might be it. Um, you don't see it too often on schedules so uh, it's pretty cool seeing it come around. Um, not sure how good I'll be. Oh, that was not expected. Is the track hotter than it was in practice? Because I don't remember it getting loose like that. I'm going to go ahead and give that a restart. So we can get a better run off. Interesting. Um, been experimenting with some things in practice. We'll see how they work out. Uh, this first lap, I'm just going to try to get solid and then I'll kind of experiment with uh, what I was trying before. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But uh, first we got to get a good run off of turn four. Got the brake bias all the way back. Thought about putting it even farther back on the end car but I think it's good enough where it is right now. Not the best run off but it'll work. He is kind of being able to keep it low around the corners and uh, keep it steady on acceleration because it will try to uh, get loose on you. So, oh, that's so much better than practice time. Holy cow! There must be something different with the track right now. But anyway, this is what I'm trying. I'm trying that third year. I messed it up there, not because of the third gear, but because I messed up the angle. But um, it's pretty equal. I think you can get pretty equal lap times shifting into third. And it might be, it might even out the wear on the right rear a little bit more if you use it. I'm not good at it yet, though. But I did notice the fastest guy in here, they were doing it. They were shifting. Um, the little practice session before the race, before qualifying here. Um, they ran a, something absurd, like a 30.1, and they did it while shifting. I imagine if they qualify, they're going to zoom right up to the top. They're in the number one, and uh, watching them, I heard them shift. So that's how they're getting those crazy fast times. I don't know if they plan on doing that during the race, but uh, very interesting. I watched Nick's video. He had that out pretty quick this week, and... Uh, if I can, I always like watch and see how he goes about things. He, he was not shifting, if I remember correctly. At least not at first. Oh, oh man, look at 30 -0. Yeah, that's crazy. That guy was shifting to get the 31. And they were diving it in, like, so hard. Uh, I, just, I don't think I have that talent. I would need a lot more practice to uh, get that done. But uh, I, I did a personal best. For the qualifying so that's about as good as I could hope for yeah I just I don't have that third gear turn figured out yet but it's it's definitely interesting uh, if it starts getting tight and in later in the run it could definitely be useful for keeping it low on the exit getting that run off as you slow down off through the corners so I'm gonna keep that option open Shift it. You can help it turn. You can get on, the, get on that gas. Hmm. But like I said, I feel like uh, I can be more consistent just keeping it forth. So I'm gonna do that. I think during the race, uh, unless I change my mind part way through. <laughs> it looks like our qualifying time holding up decently well. Hopefully, I didn't out qualify myself and I'm gonna get run over now. Because that was a pretty <laughs> decent bit faster than my fastest time beforehand. So it was up about a tenth and a half on what uh, my previous best was. But the track does feel a little different from practice, so it might be like a temperature type of thing. Or maybe the there's more rubber on the track or something. Or there was more rubber on the track probably when I was doing the practice, so. 
B5. Um, I'd like to try to get a top five, but it's not going to be easy. We'll see what we can do. Number four. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't know where I stand at this moment compared to everyone else. So, I guess we're going to find out. That ready. We got that all ready. All right. Should be a fun one, though. Glad to be here at the Milwaukee Mile. I don't think they race here anymore. Or if they do, it's very rare. They have, like, one event a year or something. Which is too bad. Um, these, like, flat... These mile or longer flat tracks are kind of dying out, it feels like. You got, like, New Hampshire and stuff that's still around, but... Uh, you know, this Milwaukee Mile is getting kind of forgotten. Stuff. And, uh, Nick mentioned in the comments that Rockingham, when it was first built, this kind of blew my mind, it was originally flat? I had no idea. It was, like, only for two years after it was first built, but it was a flat mile track. That was very interesting to hear. I looked that up and read about it a little bit. And then, of course, uh, Homestead Miami Speedway was originally flat. And, uh, even before that, it was rectangular. <laughs> Which, because uh, it was kind of trying to mimic Indianapolis, like a, a shorter in Indianapolis. And uh, allegedly the racing wasn't too good. <laughs> but uh, I think that would be very interesting to be able to run. And uh, ever since I racing, Here, let me adjust my volume a little bit. Ever since I racing did uh, I racing Super Speedway, kind of makes me feel like, man, they can, they can do anything they want now, essentially. Because if you can build something... It just straight up doesn't exist. What's to say you couldn't use the information that we have about these older tracks that are long gone and uh, rebuild that, you know? Especially for something like Homestead Miami where you've got like the environment around the track already. You just kind of have to adjust it a little bit, get the old format back. So anything's possible. What with second gear there? Seems fine. Ease it in. Outside. Clear. And uh gotta be patient on the throttle. That guy Oh boy, we're not taking three wide though. We had a guy going uh getting loose out of the corner, I believe. Clear. Uh, kind of stuck in traffic here. Aggression's happening. Got a guy diving below us. I don't appreciate that. Jeff Gordon over here. Very aggressive for lap two. I guess we'll, uh, Put a file in. You can't really race the high side here. It's not really a thing. Next guy got his nose below us. Mm. Getting freight train a bit. Being given no room on top of everything. Clear. The brakes are early. This guy kind of sticking his nose in. Gosh. People are relentless. Alright. We, uh. Make it a little easy now. <laughs> I have a moment. Alright. So we fell back a lot. I'm not really trying to overdrive at this point, though, so. Too worried about that. I feel like uh, depending on how you drive, you can both abuse either the right front or the right rear, because you do kind of get them uh, spinning a little bit off the corner if you get on it too hard. But also, when you're diving into this flat corner and trying to turn, you can be harsh on it. So it's uh, very driver dependent how your race goes here. 
can have a lot of different experiences, I think. And that's very interesting. Not thinking this, uh, <laughs> this track's doing, feeling too good for me, though. It's not really coming, uh, very intuitively so far. This guy's way off the wall. Is he, wow, is he diving in on this guy? Good lord, man. Why are we diving in on people so much? Also, is this wheel broken? Is his wheel out of alignment? This is, this, this is danger ready to happen, man. Just uh, keep our eyes behind us, make sure we're not getting dive-bombed, and try to find a way past Scooby-Doo. This mystery wheel that's pointing the wrong direction on the right front. It really looks like he's struggling, like he's, his wheel is, like literally his steering wheel might be off-center or something, like he's got damage, he might have hit the wall or something. Uh-oh, we're on the rumble but a little bit, but we're okay. Hmm. Even his left front looks weird. I wonder if that's really happening or if maybe that's just uh, a disagreement <laughs> between the server. And my own client. So, kinda gotta run here. Outside. Clear outside. Well, we were on the inside of him, but he uh, overdrove it in order to get under us again, so we'll just uh, go for it one more time. You would always just accept the fact that you're getting passed and not waste both of our time, but now you're just gonna. bit of third gear action. Pretty fun to drive though, for sure. Now he's in the wall again. I assume again. That's how uh, he got the damage originally. I don't really have the best game plan here. I'm kind of just sometimes using third, sometimes not. Just kind of feeling it out. I think uh, I just really need to get more practice with this track. Or I know exactly how I want to be running it. Seems very difficult to pass, though. It's in the wall on entry now. Overdrove it. On our side as well, though. Trying to get a run with third gear, but nah. Hmm, oh, I don't know. Time was we need to get past him, though. He's so slow. I think we tapped him by accident, but. Ah. It was such a light tap, it didn't even register as a 0x. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Finally, Clear he concedes eyes. the position to us. Alright. Well, it's not like we lost, like, three seconds to the people ahead. But okay. I'm gonna use third gear. I think once these tires start wearing, it's gonna be what we want. We'll find out. Now we can focus on what we're doing here and not getting past Scooby Doo and the gang. Maybe even the right sides out, because I think I, I feel like I'm probably overdriving, if not entry overdriving the center. Uh, I feel like I can balance that a little bit better by shifting. We'll see, though. Let me do a lap here, keeping it fourth. Let's see if it, I do better. Uh, 
Well, that wasn't so good. That turn. That's down a tenth. Small sample size, though. Uh, one more lap of fourth gear. See how it goes. Make sure I'm braking enough. Not making false correlations. This one seems lesser still. So far. I think I might need to be hitting the brake harder on entry though, get that get it rotating with the brake bias. Okay, back to third gear, we'll compare that now. That was a thirty one point three. Just doing some experimentation. That sure looks better to me. It could just be because I'm driving it wrong or driving in a way that benefits me more to use third gear. But if that's what the result I'm getting, then I gotta keep doing it. So, alright, it's third gear for me. It's kinda like what I said before, though. It feels like different driving styles will have different experiences at this track, so... My driving style benefits from third gear, but maybe uh, someone else wouldn't have the same benefit. And honestly, if my right rear starts getting really worn, I start getting loose, so that's fine. I enjoy wrangling a, a loose race car, so that's what I end up having to deal with. That's cool with me. Sure, we're getting the brake entry. I just don't think I'm very good here. <laughs> this is uh, about where I'm settling in, I think. It looks like the uh, guy behind we're scooting away from. Not really gang in front of us, though. We just ride the whole darn corner on the yield line. That's probably not optimal. I just don't have the angles figured out, I don't like. Very inconsistent. Well, we're about halfway through now, once we finish this lap. It feels okay. It's, it's gotten a little tighter, but it's not unbearable by any means. And uh, running third gear, what I was most worried about is getting uh, loose on exit. I'm not really feeling that yet. Not any more than you normally have here, so... Like so long as I can power through it a little bit, it does give me a better runoff than what I'm normally getting. Just gotta be really delicate with the uh, throttle. Don't get the twitchy foot and end up spinning. Not sure where the optimal uh, time to shift is. I've kind of just been feeling it out and shifting whenever uh, it starts feeling like it's getting too tight to turn to rotate properly. It's kind of when I've been choosing to do so. Maybe it would be better to do it earlier. Maybe it would be better to do it later. Sure. Lots of inexperience uh, in play here. But we're in eighth. That's not bad at all. I said uh, top five would be optimistic. I think that was, in fact, optimistic. So we got some fast guys in here. And uh, we're still... We're just like no, man, no man's land. <laughs> really. Multiple seconds in front of and behind us. Sounds good to me. Looks like everyone's kind of spread out. For the most part. Obviously, like draft isn't going to be a huge thing, you know, getting everyone bunched together. Never really, not not usually do you see it that way in the ARCA car, so not that surprising, but especially at a place like Milwaukee, you're not going to have that so much. If I can take a wider entry. Nah, that doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> I'm 
try to wire wider enter, entry and see how that worked, but that just Got lost me later. like two tenths almost. So nah, just gotta bring it down low. That's not too surprising. Still found myself uh, overdriving it there. Use that brake bias. So unstable. I think it's uh, it's all uh, me to blame here. I'm just not running it quite right. So I'm happy with what I have, given that uh, I don't feel like I'm quite dialed in. Yeah, a little bit of a battle brewing up ahead. That might bring us, bring them back to us a little bit, but I think they've been pulling away for a while, so I don't know. Get real thing. Think about. Had a later shift there, and that seemed like it kind of worked. I'll try shifting a little later in the turn. Overdrove that hard. That's not good. I shift early if I overdrive it. <laughs> That's got to get it turning as soon as possible in that case. Oh. Yeah, we're not catching up to the guys in front, I don't think. But we're still pulling away from the guys behind. So, we found our little nook. Little Tom Nook, where we belong, I guess. Let's see, though. They were at 2.5. We'll see where we're at in a little bit. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Maybe you guys are having uh, more trouble with the tire wear. I've got to worry about hand wear. Like, I'm squeezing the wheel too hard to hurt my hands. Check, see what my hand percentages are at the end of the race. <laughs> 64 or 73, left and right hand. It's the new meta. Uh oh. Oh no! What the fuck was that for? The gap ahead is now two oh, seconds. What's happening? Why are you blocking four lanes down? I was clear by. Oh, you're a fucking douchebag. Great job, oh my you guys. God. Tempers flaring here in Milwaukee. You did it to Andrew, too, bro. He just took his right front down. Not even fast enough to take advantage of it, I don't think. Unless they got damage. Yeah, <laughs> they're still too fast for us. At least right now. Coming to eight laps to go once we get around to, to the line. Still time to maybe see some action. It does look like we're coming to them. I wonder how many people have opted to shift and how many people have opted not to. Now Nick had success in his race. Staying in fourth. So clearly you don't need to. It's a lot of sorts. Had a very bad exit as well, though. Because I was watching him. I think I gotta be more patient on mid-corner and exit. 
Let's we'll probably help me out. Rears are a little hot, but nothing that's too concerning to me. If anything, I like the way that it's turning on throttle. Pardon my noises of disgust as I mess the corners up. I mean, we can make this eight nervous though. We're we are closing in, slowly but surely. And don't call me surely. Little airplane reference for you. <laughs> Hey, that was good. Or the last lap was bad. Or both. Overdrove that. I'd still get a good exit, though. doing some weird swerving. Running out of laps. Get over drove the mid corner there. Fighting the wheel. Probably heard that on my mic. Sorry, I tried to eliminate as much as the of the Two left to go. racing Two noise to go. as possible for my wheel and pedals and all that. But hey, real cars make a lot of noise. So, you know. <laughs> Two laps remaining. the white flag. Don't think we have enough to get to him. White flag, white flag. Driving in hard, see what I can do. Woo! Got lap traffic coming up. Haven't seen that yet, I don't think. White flag, last lap. That lap time was 31.4. Ooh, he gets really low there. Yeah, we tried, but I think uh, so long as he doesn't mess up this corner, he's got it. I was coming, though. Ah, oh, well. Oh, my gosh. The number one won by, like, ten seconds. That's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Oh, my God. Later, huh? Nice run. Solid work. Okay, okay, man. Amber's still flaring. Good win, number one. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Get off the track, because I'm scared. Come here, boy. Crap <laughs> uh, like that, you get punched in the nose. Yeah, sure you're used to that. Just get the Benny Hill music. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, you didn't come here for my musical performances. You came here to watch me for some reason. Get an eighth, eighth place. So we fell back from where we started. Not usually what I want to do, but I did kind of feel like I overdrove myself with that qualifying lap. Kind of just got lucky and pulled off a good lap somehow. But uh, I'm not, I'm not upset by it. Top ten, single digit finish. That feels good. Uh, yeah, kept it clean too. Got ourselves a zero X. Didn't get run over by Scooby Doo, or run over Scooby Doo. Uh, no one wants to run over Scooby Doo, so that's a thing. We'll check out and see what everyone's so angry about in the incidents.
We got loose race cars on lap two. Bummer, that's just getting on uh, on the throttle too hard, mid corner looks like, and they couldn't gather it up. 17 was an innocent bystander. Some, well, not even. Outside wall tap. Is this where 16 knocked the wheel out of alignment? No, probably not. Not with that little tap. It's kind of a neat, like, old school looking bush car. That blue and white. It's very, uh, I don't know, like a nostalgic kind of combo. Barely not hitting the wall. Oh, what on earth? <laughs> So we got to see some context here, because that's probably something that came after something else that happened earlier. So, um, hmm, they were fighting hard up front, that's for sure. Well, he wasn't fighting hard; he was having a leisurely stroll. But uh, everyone else over here, they were fighting hard for second. Including uh, lowercase Ryan, he's been in the hosted races before. Not sure. I I, I know there must be sub context to the way the guys were driving there. Let's exit a little bit. It's on the outside. They're fighting hard and close, but I haven't seen anything like dirty so far or anything. Oh yeah, what happened? Maybe he just missed his breaking point? Oh, he, he said he was... I think he was saying like he was blocking. Um, I don't know if I see that. I don't know. I don't know. I still feel like there's probably some context I don't know about, but they were yelling at each other there, and then... He was, uh... Still mad at him, I guess? That's some short track racing going on right there. Even though this is a mile long track, it does have a lot of short track features. Like the primarily low side being dominant. Wow, was that it? That was all the contact? And then... Oh, they're in fisticuffs after the race. You up the Ken Squire. And there's a fight! Hell Yarborough! <laughs> and then they're chasing each other with the Benning Hill music. We already saw that. Well, that was weird, that part of it. But the race itself, other than whatever happened there, was pretty clean. There didn't seem to be too much going on. And, uh, I don't know. Not my best, uh, not my best run, but solid enough, I think. I'm happy with that. And anytime I can get myself a 0x top 10, I'm okay with that. I'm not too picky. So I hope it was, uh, enjoyable. I had uh, had fun. Always enjoy Milwaukee Mile. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.